again and welcome to my site. Here in this video I'm going to be making uh, basically what is a, a, large, well, a fairly large clamping washer. Uh, it's got a step in it, it's literally to hold a shaft onto the end of a bearing. So uh, we'll get on and see how this progresses during the next couple of frames. Okay, follow me from now. Okay. first part of this operation I'm turning down the outside diameter. It's got to go down to approximately 55 millimeter and then I can work from that. Uh, takes a little while I can only take about two and a half mil each time. The piece of steel I'm using started off with it was a, a odd piece of steel I had laying around. Um, I guess it was only a small job uh, I, it started off at about 65 mil, so I'm having to turn down quite a bit to, to bring it down to size. But uh, I can only take about two and a half mil at a time, so that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's quite a slow process. I've speeded it up a little bit so that, uh, so you don't get too bored watching this, but uh, it's okay, it's not too bad. It's machining out quite nicely, actually. It's quite a nice piece of steel, actually. It's nice and smooth, it's coming out. Uh, Nice and shiny. Okay, so the next stage uh, on this is just to put a center drill into the end so that uh, I've got a bearing on the end of the, of the piece of steel. And here I'm just putting in a clearance hole for an M8 uh, Allen screw. So that'll, that'll be, it hasn't got to go all the way through because this thing is only about 12 mil thick. Here I'm putting in a, a counterbore bit, which will put a recess for the head of the, of the set screw. So that will allow the head to be below the surface. Uh, can't run it too quickly because uh, it's, got to put a, it's got a flat end on it. So it puts a, a flat end in, into the hole. Here I'm parting off the, uh, the whole disc completely. Uh, parting off tool I've got to run reasonably slowly because uh, they tend to be a bit uh, a bit delicate. You can't push them too hard because uh, they're, they're quite fragile. So you just keep uh, keep ploughing it in with, uh, with plenty of coolant on it, stop it heating up and that way uh, you get a nice clean cut. Um, and uh, it's, it's got to go quite a long way in so uh, you, you have to be a bit careful with it, otherwise uh, it's, it's so easy to either break the tool or, or even if it jams too much, it'll actually pull the piece out of the chuck. So uh, you've got to be a bit careful with it, but it's going through okay. Uh, plenty of coolant on it. You can't see it very well because of the amount of swarf. Now we have the last operation uh, here. I've turned it round in the, in the chuck so that uh, I can just hold on the on the shoulder that I've turned, and uh, we can just turn that down to the uh, across the face just to clean it up, and turn it down to the correct width on the on the piece. So here we have the finished item sitting on the drawing which I used to make this piece. Well, there we are, another little job completed. Uh, it wasn't too bad actually. It uh, turned out quite nice. Actually, it's quite pretty. In actual fact. Uh, so yeah, I'm pleased with that. So let's let's look out for the next video. Don't forget to re to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and please look out for more videos in the future. Thanks very much. Bye bye.